Hey Sabercats, welcome back to another special episode of CBTV. I'm Drew. And I'm James, and we have a very special show for you today. For our first segment, we have a teacher spotlight on Mr. Beltre. Hey, so my name is Frank Beltre, I'm a Spanish teacher in Castleview High School. So where I come from, I come from the Dominican Republic. They said I was born in the Dominican Republic, I'm not, I don't know that for sure, uh, nobody ever knows. Um, but I grew up in the Dominican Republic after when I was uh, about 15. I left the Dominican Republic and went to Puerto Rico. I uh, lived there for eight years. I went to culinary school, I became a chef. And so that gave me the opportunity to travel around uh, South America, the Caribbean, some places in Europe, cooking. And I ended up cooking in the Four Seasons Hotel in New York City. After that, you know, I, I worked there for about three years without speaking English. So I decided that I want to speak English uh, and do other things. So I joined the U.S. Army. And in the U.S. Army, I learned English and I learned some of the skills. Was in the Army for about nine years, nine, ten years, and uh, was uh, retired on a medical discharge. I was in an accident while I was in the service, so um, I have some service-connected disabilities. I got into the business world. I went to school, got an MBA, and became a business consultant for healthcare. Okay. And uh, I'm here teaching the thing that I, you know, really wanted to do since uh, for a long time. So now we have a segment about a coffee shop in downtown Castle Rock called the Castle Rock Collective. Let's learn more. Wellspring Community was started 15 years ago by a mom who had a daughter with intellectual and developmental disabilities and she wanted something better for her daughter than what was currently out there. So Wellspring exists today to create a community that celebrates and honors adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Uh, and we believe that lives are transformed because we help unlock individual potential. I do um, their coffee for the customers. My favorite working here is um, it's so life and talk to my friends and this special to me. I love them. I love doing that point of sale. One of the things that Wellspring desires to provide for the adults in our program is a place to have meaningful work. And so the Castle Rock Collective um, was opened in September of 2021 as a place to provide employment for these special adults. Wellspring and Company Coffee is a coffee shop that exists within the Castle Rock Collective. So the Wellspring and Company Coffee Shop that exists here in the Castle Rock Collective is a place that employs only adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We have provided an accessible way to um, work and provide service and meaning in our community. This next week, we passed the 81st anniversary of Pearl Harbor. Let's take a look at a child's perspective of this tragic event. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Wednesday will mark the 81st anniversary of Pearl Harbor, a day that America was attacked by Japan officially entering us into World War II. Ray Wheeler, who was eight years old at the time, reflects back to what the day was like for him. I remember the morning started off really pretty well. My father was not at home that day. Uh, he worked for the power plant, and sometimes he'd have to be at the power plant on Sundays and so forth. And so my mother was taking me to church, and uh, the Sunday afternoon, I had some really good friends that we, uh, about once a month, we would exchange dinners. Someone called him, I think, says, get on your radio and see what you can hear, because we didn't have TV. And then we had, they had a little uh, Zenith radio, a little table model. And it just started and says that the Japanese have bombed Pearl Harbor. So, you know, I thought, well, I, 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 I don't remember what's going on. Well, why are the Japanese doing this? And why? And then and as an eight year old, I just, just had a lot of questions, but it, it, I really wasn't upset over anything, you know. I thought, well, gee, that's, that's kind of bad. Shortly after the war was declared, the draft started. Ray's brother, who happened to be 19 at the time, was drafted into the war. My brother's 11 years older than I was, and so, uh, and he was hoping he wouldn't, uh, he would, uh, he would pass, he, he kind of wanted to get in because his friend was there already because he thought maybe he could get in, but uh, he just, he couldn't, couldn't make it to get in. He, he was drafted, mm -hmm. and he went back and he had a broken eardrum from, from a pneumonia he had at one time. And so uh, he went to work for the railroad, 
But uh, most most of the people were ready to go. They they had train left for Alamos every night, uh, going into Dren and Durango, with uh, people going to be drafted. They went to take the train into uh, to Denver. And Pearl Harbor was an event that happened a long time ago, but it is important to remember the significance it had on American history and World War II. To add a bit of fun into the show, Mr. Combest and Ashton tried to make each other laugh with some good old dad jokes. Let's see who has the funniest ones. This is an original, you ready? My friend was accused of cannibalism, and I feel awful about it. It's just eating away at me. <laughs> so there's these, there's these two fish in a tank, right? No, you want to know what one fish said to the other fish? Mm -hmm. How do I drive this thing? What do Alexander the Great and Winnie the Pooh have in common? What? Their middle name. <laughs> I can never tell if my stairs are up to something. Is that, is it's it? a one line. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just called the paranoia hotline. Guy picks up the phone. Goes, How did you get this number? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they play poker in the jungle? Too many cheetahs. Cheetahs don't live in the jungle. <laughs> Who came up with that? Today.com. <laughs> what, what do you give to a cannibal who's late for dinner? A head start. A cold shoulder. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and laughing made me laugh. That's not fair. <laughs> Why did Waldo go to therapy? Oh, to find himself. Dang it. What's the difference between ignorance and apathy? What? I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I have an inferiority complex, mm -hmm. but it's not a very good one. <laughs> I accidentally took my cat's medication last night. Don't ask me how. Why didn't the son go to college? It already had a million degrees. It's pretty good. How do you keep a monkey in suspense? How? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just won, right? Come on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and that's all from us from CBTV this week. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out more of us on our Instagram page at CV Student Media and our website at cvstudentmedia.com. Once again, I'm Drew. And I'm James. And have a great day, Sabercats, and we'll see y'all next time.